Hey, what's up, folks? It's Mike here from Netigo, and we're about to talk about black soap. I decided, since you all keep asking me what's the best brand of black soap to use, I'm going to do a comparison, a series of comparison videos between some store-bought black soap and the stuff that we sell here. So, if that's something that interests you, please stand by, stick tuned, and maintain this, this channel. Also, subscribe as well, because it's going to be a very fun time. But with that being said, let's go on and take a look at me awkwardly making my way into two stores to buy some black soap on the inconspicuous level. You ready? Transition. Hey, what's up, folks? So I'm here at the Beauty Supply Store, and I want to check out some black soap. So I got some original African black soap. Yada, yada, yada. You can read. So I see these here. Black soap baby powder, white diamond. White diamond and Egyptian musk. So I'm gonna try oh the Egyptian musk. Sounds fancy. I like I love the packaging though. Know, super dope packaging. So yeah, these are the ingredients right here. Dang it. Get this and then we're going to do a test. Alright, so we're gonna try this one more time. Do you have any black soap? Okay, can I see the one in the black? Yeah. What's that What's that yellow one right there? Same one? What about that green one? Uh, what are, yeah, that one, what's that one? And then what's, yep, that one too. Perfect. What are cool things? Right, let's see what these things got. All right, so I got some of this. Nope, where is it at? This. That looks good. That one looks good. And we're gonna try that one too. I'll take all of these. Thank you. All right, folks, so we're going to compare all these ones with the other ones I got yesterday, and we'll go from there. Okay, so welcome back, and uh, here we go. This is one, and a two, and a three, and a four, and a five. So we're looking here, let's take this one out of the equation because you know we all know what that is already. We have the Sunflower Cosmetics Original African Black Soap, Egyptian Musk, just sounded fancy. We have the Medina African Black Soap uh, with Shea Butter and Aloe Vera. We have the Dudu Uso, or Uso Sun, Dudu O Sun, there are a lot of folks in the comments said they like the used. We also have the Nubian Heritage African Black Soap Bar. And then here to top it all off is going to be the African Formula Black Soap. So the name of the company is African Formula. And then Black Soap, obviously, is the, the type of soap. Um, the African shop I went to, the last one I went to, had two other bars that were black. But they were called a, a toning bar and it was a skin whitening bar. And since it didn't have Black Soap in the name, I decided not to get it. Maybe next time, though. Maybe next time. So let's do a... Um, for this video, for this first video here, let's just do like an unboxing of each one and look at the ingredients. And then the next video, we'll do like a lather comparison, um, skin dryness comparison, stuff like that. We'll do some fun stuff. So we're gonna start off here with this uh, Medina. Well, we're gonna start with the Medina African Black Soap with Shea Butter and Aloe Vera. If that works for you all, because I think it'd be dope. What do you all think? So we'll start with this one and see how it goes. Do, do, do. All right, so the first things first, it is halal here, which essentially means that it is, uh, what's that word? Uh, it's like kosher, it's like super kosher, so you don't have to worry about it, you know, being bad for you and stuff. So, yeah, I'm going to go with that one. And then, uh, let's see, palm oil, rainforest, da, da, da. This one was four ninety nine. I don't know if you all can see that. This was four ninety nine. Before we get to the ingredients, it is a Brooklyn, New York based company, and it doesn't say where it's made. No, it doesn't. All right, cool. But let's take a look at the ingredients, which are here on the bottom. So the ingredient list. We got some sodium stuff. Okay. Palm through water, okay, we got fragrance right here. So that's the first red flag for me is the fragrance, you know. Artificial fragrances uh, to me are a no-go because you don't, don't know what actually is in that fragrance to make it. 
So I don't deal with those. Um, let's see, the next, we got some shea butter, some glycerin, bran, raw oats, some other thing I can't really pronounce this thing, and then our D and C green number five. All right, so I'm already under the impression this thing's gonna have a greenish hue to it, but it's gonna be an artificial green hue. Um, I can only assume they added this green hue to make it look more like the, uh, the aloe vera, you know, to give it more like an aloe vera kind of color. So let's take a look, see. This thing open. And yep, green. So it's definitely green, but as we all know already, it's an artificial green because they use the green number five in the fragrance. So I'm guessing these little spots in here are like the uh, the rolled barley and the brand or the brand. Open this little guy up. Get a little sniff. Okay, so it smells very soapy. It smells like a store-bought soap. Um, I do love the way it's branded on here. That's super dope. That's a very nice touch. But it definitely does have a, an artificial fragrancy soap smell to it. Um, yeah, definitely. <clears throat> definitely something soapy like that. All right, so that's going to be that one. This one again was this brand. It was $4.99. Like you even see those like tight little oats. You can see those. Yeah. All right. Cool. So that's that one. Medina. Bam. We're gonna set this one aside here. And we're gonna go to the Nubian Heritage Black Soap Bar. Made with oats, aloe vera, and vitamin E. So let's take a look. All right, so this is made in the USA. Mm -hmm. Beginnings, here we go. There are the ingredients, and nothing else special in the back. All right, so the ingredients for this one are sodium, palmate, uh, stuff. All right, so we got again some fragrance right here, perfume. So that's a no-no for me. Uh, shea butter, other stuff. Okay, so this is interesting, right? If you look right here, can you all see where my pencil is? It says, one of the ingredients is African black soap. So one of the ingredients in their African black soap bar is African black soap. Not sure what the hell that means, but it's there. Um, oatmeal, palm stuff, some other sodium chloride, some other stuff, leaf juice. All right, yeah, so that's all the stuff that's in there. Um, I'm going to use ethically traded ingredients, sustainably produced, and no animal testing, which is all good stuff. But I'm, I'm not sure. So that fragrance, of course, again, no big, no ups for me for that one, but I don't know what African black soap means. Like, how is that inside of here? I don't know. But whatever, maybe they took a black soap and then, I don't know what they did with it. It's, I don't know. But beautiful packaging, amazing packaging. And let's look at the bar. Wow, this is a really black bar. Okay. All right, so it's a very black bar, as you can see, and uh, it's definitely black soap. So let's go back and look at these ingredients real quick and see if we can figure out what ingredient in here is making this thing so black. And I'm thinking it's going to be the carbon right here. So they added carbon to it to give it a pure black hue, which of course looks very appealing. Uh, looks really dope. Definitely looks dope. Give it that. You can see the oats here as well. Um, so they definitely like using oats. Again, with the top branding here, Nubian Heritage. Again, looks amazing. Smell. This one smells. It smells good though. This one smells real good. Yeah, I like the way this smells. It smells more like to me. It smells more like oats. Um, than anything else. It has like a nice oaty smell. Yeah. Yeah, I, I could see myself using this one. Um, no, no. Even though most of these ingredients confuse me, but I could definitely, I could definitely see myself using this one just based off smell alone. All right. So we're gonna put this one aside. 
Again, that was the Nubian Heritage African Black Soap. Boom. All right, so the next one is going to be the African Formula Black Soap here. Uh, let's see. This one is four nine. So Nubian Heritage, how much was this one? I don't have the price on this one. I think it was four, maybe five. Let me grab the receipt. Let's see. The Nubian Heritage. Uh -huh. All right, so the receipt doesn't really say. So no, two ninety nine was one of these things. I think the Odu. All right, so it's five bucks. It was five bucks. The Nubian Heritage was also five dollars. We'll just stick with that. So still we're sticking with. All right, so the African Formula Black Soap here with cocoa butter and vitamin E. All right, so this is three point five ounces. Nubian Heritage was five ounces, and the African Black Soap from Medina is also five ounces. No, oh, sorry, three point five ounces. So three point five five ounces. So you get more bar with the Nubian Heritage off top for your five bucks. Um, let's see, African Formula here. Let's go. Let's check out. So this is made in Jordan. All right, distributed by some brand uh, in the UK. Yada yada yada. And that's about it when it comes to the packaging. A uh, pretty basic packaging, but I definitely like it. The name design. All right, cool. So let's check out the ingredient list here. What we got? What we got? What we got? So sodium palmate again. Some more sodium palmate. Water, glycerin, fragrance. So you got the artificial fragrance here. Some iron, vitamin E, uh, and some other stuff that I don't really know the, what they mean. But yeah, there's some other stuff here. They got other stuff. All right, so let's take this one out. There's no coloring in this one. This one's also black. Huh, let's see. What could they have added to make this one so black? Maybe the iron oxides is what gave it that black color. Or this CI77266, which definitely seems extremely healthy. Um, yeah, so maybe it could have been that one. So, yeah. Let's see. All right, so a black bar as well, super black. Open this bad boy up. All right, African Formula Black Soap. Let's see what the smell is. It smells good. Um, let's see, how does it? So it smells like the Nubian Heritage Black Soap, but it doesn't have that oats scent to it. So I'm guessing whatever their ingredient combination is extremely similar. Let's take a look. So both of the sodium sorbate to start out with. Sodium something, something. Yeah, the same second ingredient in water, glycerin. The new day added fragrance, so the same deal there. Huh, would it be funny if uh, Nubian Heritage just took this bar? So like, Nubian Heritage just took the African formula, melted it down, and then made theirs by adding a little bit extra. That'd be funny. But yeah, so this is what we got here for this one. Let's see. Again, I like the smell. I definitely like the smell. Um, yeah, I do like the smell. I definitely want to look up the scientific name for cocoa butter because I definitely don't see cocoa butter on this label. Um, labeled as cocoa butter, but I want to definitely make sure I'm looking at it. So right here is like sodium cocoate. I just want to make sure, you know. It's got to make sure. So yeah, so sniff that one. Smells good. Again, I would use this one straight out the box um, just off the smell. So if it was in someone's bathroom or something, I would probably use it because it does smell good. doesn't smell fake. Um, let's see. The next one we're going to go with is going to be the Egyptian musk. All right? So this is from Sunflower Cosmetics, the original African black soap. All right, so original African black soap. Packaging on this is fantastic. I love the packaging. I love the gold. And this one was $3.49 from the beauty supply store. I love the way the smell, well, not smells, I haven't opened up yet. I love the way it looks. It's really visually pleasing. And uh, I can get down with this. Definitely, I could definitely do better for my packaging, for my company, looking at this. Um, let's see, so it's shea butter and cocoa butter. All right, we're going to, so we're going to zoom in. And we're going to take a look at the ingredients one more time here. So, Sodium palmate, same beginning, and it has the uh, palm kernate. So, 
leaning more towards this must be cocoa butter. You know, if I'm actually looking up. They got glycerin, fragrance. They got the fragrance here as well. Palm kernel acid. Some other that thing here. So this is blah, 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 whatever. So shea butter. Mm, oats, kernel meal, iron oxide. So this is definitely going to be a black soap, just like black. Um, sunflower seed oil. Oh, they, uh, looks like rosemary, leaf extract. Leaf extract of this plant in violet number two. So this is going to have like a blackish purple hue. All right, so this one's made in the U.S. of A. And it, uh, I think it's made in New Jersey. All right, also black as well, straight black. All right, also beautifully branded on top. This must be some oat right here. Yeah, it looks a lot like the Nubian Heritage one. So maybe they use the same, same kind of stamp press or whatever. How's it smell? Okay, so the Egyptian musk. Interesting. It's not, again, none of these have had a bad smell. Um, the very first one smelled more, you know, mainstream to me. But it wasn't a bad smell. It just was a little overpowering for me at the moment. Uh, but this one here, it doesn't smell bad. It smells like the Egyptian musk here. Definitely reminds me of the oils from the oil man that you know, walks around and sells you the natural oils. So this definitely seems like a combination of the two, uh, of the black soap and some of the natural oil, or the oil man with the fragrance oil. Um, yeah, but of course, I don't know what's in the fragrance oil, so that always alarms me. But definitely, definitely not a game, you know, a deal breaker. You know, if I had to choose, I would use it. It has a very masculine scent to it. Um, so the very masculine scent, I'm sure a lot of guys would enjoy that. Um, it just gives that, yeah, it smells like a little bit of like they added some cologne to it. So it has a nice little cologne fragrance to it. Uh, okay, so the last one we're going to do here is going to be the Dudu Osun. A lot of folks use Dudu Osun. That's been something a lot of people have mentioned to me. And we'll see. All right, let's take a look here. Let's take a look at them. Do, do, do. So I have some French writing, so that's already good there. I like that. Uh, we got more French writing here, so it definitely seems dope. Doesn't say where it's made, but seems legit. Oh, nope, it's made in Nigeria. So this is made in Nigeria, so that's super dope right there. Uh, the Drew Law, Black Silk, made traditional way. All right, so this one has a much easier to understand backlist. All right, so honey, shea butter, osun, which is camwood, so that's where you get the name from. I like that. Palm kernel oil, coca pod ash, boom. Palm brunch ash, aloe vera, lime juice, lemon juice, water, and fragrance. All right, the only thing I don't like here is the fragrance, obviously, but everything else seems very good to me. I like everything here. I can pronounce it all easily. It's relatable. I know I can get it from the store. I like that. I like that a lot. So let's give it a sniff and see how it uh, functions on the nose cavity. Alright, so this one comes out. Nice branded bag. I like that. Okay. Alright, so this one here. This looks more, oh, and we got the bottom, that's nice. Got the bottom stamp and the top stamp. This looks more natural to me, um, simply because the other ones that showed you were all extremely black, so you know they added something to it. And I feel like if you have to add colorant to it or something to make it darker, then something's up. Uh, this here looks like the straight black, so let me give it a little sniff real quick. Hmm. Interesting. So with this one, I can smell the fragrance. I can't tell you what the fragrance is, but it seems like it's like uh, 
It also has that smell of the, the lemon juice and the lime juice. They're kind of mixing together. So it smells kind of, to me, like a soft cleaning product. Um, so I'm not really vibing with that smell. It smells like, like I said, like it's a soft cleaning product kind of deal. Don't know what's up with that, but it might just be the lime juice and lemon juice, which are obviously used a lot in cleaners, natural cleaners anyway. But other than that, the rest of these ingredients look to me fantastico. I can definitely get down with the rest of these. Okay, all right, all right, all right. And let's see, so the last one we have here obviously is my soap, and it has four ingredients, shea butter, co coconut oil, cocoa powder, ash, and water. So that's it for this one. And it looks, you know, more like the doo-doo Osun than in the other ones. These are the ingredients, nothing special about it, nothing fancy, not doing too much, doing just the right amount so that you have good clean skin. How does it smell? It smells bland, it smells bland. It's like a very neutral smell to me. Um, so it's nothing really, you know, it's nothing special. And that's that's one of the things here. There's nothing special about this one. Um, just these four ingredients. But when it comes to your skin, simplicity is usually the key to keeping things right because your body is designed for more natural and simple things. So the more complex things get, you know, the more, uh, the further away from your natural body chemistry things can go. Whew, all right. So that was a, that was a lot. It was 20 minutes. We just spent 20 minutes talking about these soaps. How, did, how does that feel? Was it worth it? Like, honestly, that was 20 whole minutes talking about these soaps, comparing them. Is this what YouTubers do? Like, legit YouTubers, when they compare things? And if so, man, I don't know if I'm built for this. This is ridiculous. But I like it, though. I like it. This is cool. It's dope. So the next test is going to be, like I said, the lather tests. Uh, I'm going to take them all into the shower. And, oh, that's what I'm going to do. Okay, look, I'm going to wash. What I'm going to do is wash a different part of my body with each one of these five soaps. So, like, leg, leg, arm, arm, face. No, this is on my face. No, none of these. Leg, leg, arm, arm, chest. And I'm going to see how I feel. I'm going to get straight out of the shower and just see how, if I feel dry or ashy or not. So, that's what I'm going to do. Give those a shot. Um, yeah. Yeah, so, do me a favor. In the comments below, let me know what other kind of test you might like or any other soap you may use. Send me a link, the company name or something like that, and I'll go out and get it. And I'll just run it through my quick little test. Now, disclaimer, in no way, shape, or form, this is a scientific test. This is not scientific at all. This is simply me pulling up to the store, running in, patronizing the business, and testing out the soaps to see how they make me feel so that you all don't have to suffer from you know bad breakouts i have pretty tough skin so i'm willing to take the you know take the risk out of your hands i do all the risk for you you figure out what you like the best like i said this was 250 five bucks five bucks 350 five bucks and this is five bucks so you know when it comes to price this definitely wins at the price level um it's also what's this weight The, 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 the 150 grams I don't know what that equals to honestly but it feels more like 5 ounces than the rest so 5 ounces, 5 ounces, 5 ounces 5 ounces, 3, 3 but yeah let you all go, this has been a long video already and it's honestly like midnight so I need to take my happy self to sleep like the video please comment below what you would think I should do, uh, subscribe to the channel like this on Instagram if you're watching there Facebook, give me a like buddy if you're watching this on Twitter, tweet, tweet. And uh, yeah, thank you all so much for watching. And catch you next time. See ya. Ooh.